You know, I think I finally figured it out. Pokemon is GameStop, essentially, right? The Pokemon company is the hedge funds shorting the stock, right? Not enough product to go around, shorting the stock. And uh, the scalpers are Wall Street bets. And they're just short squeezing and nabbing up all of the stock. Now, the difference between Wall Street bets and scalpers is Wall Street bets is doing it for a noble cause. Uh, scalpers are obviously scum lords, but basically, it's kind of the same thing. There's some, that's a neat fact. That's a neat fact. Extra, extra, Pokemon news, come get ya, Pokemon news. The scratching post. YouTube, welcome to the den. My name is McCavity Cab. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today's video is just a simple, short news video for the week. We call it the Scratching Post. It is the weekly news show here on the channel. So if you're looking for information, if you like what you hear, consider leaving a like on the video and a subscription to the channel. It really helps me out, really bumps me up the algorithm, and I greatly appreciate it. So we don't have a ton of things to talk about today, actually. It was a pretty slow news week, except for uh, one major news story. And uh, that one we're gonna save till later. But uh, there were a couple smaller stories that we wanted to talk about, so we're just gonna discuss it real quick. Um, that being that Shining Fates, actually the full set of the Shining Fates cards that will be in the set have been released. You can check it out on PokeGuardian.com. I'll link it in the description down below. Um, it looks like most of the cards are there, except for the full art Marnie did not make the cut, sadly. The only way that we can still get full out Art Marnie in English is through Sword and Shield, and she will constantly evade me forever. The next story on the docket is for the uh, 25th anniversary of Pokemon, the McDonald's promos. It turns out we did get reports that there are actually going to be 50 cards in this promo set, so it won't just be... Uh, I can't remember what it was announced before. I thought it was like 24 or 25 cards uh, originally. It was originally reported. There'd be 25 cards, something like that. Uh, no, it turns out there will actually be 50 cards, and the reason for this, I believe, is that uh, you're not guaranteed anything in any hit, right? You're you, well, you are guaranteed one hollow and three standard, and each card can be a hollow. So, I believe that the odds of pulling the Pikachu promo card of the out of the McDonald's uh, packs are one in 28. Uh, so I believe P PTCGO Radio stated that he was confused as to why the General Mills cereal box Pikachu promo card is going for stupid prizes and the pack is going for stupid prizes because that set is going to be printed into the ground. Um, you're going to be able to find it everywhere. So the, the McDonald's card, the McDonald's Pikachu being worth a ton of money, I could see that. Maybe not a ton of money, but... Um, I just can't, I just don't quite understand why. The, the General Mills cereal, it is confirmed that each box, each box that has a pack, each pack contains a Hollow Pikachu promo card for the 25th anniversary stamped. So the reason that that one is going bananas is just confusing to me. I'm not exactly sure why that's happening, but uh, it is. And the big story this week, like I said, it's going to be a short video, man. There's not a lot of stuff going on. Um, but one thing that is pretty major, uh, and we need to talk about it, is the Logan Paul situation, right? Uh, back in October, he had cracked a first edition booster box, was charging $11,000 a pack, and he'd shout you out. Prices after that skyrocketed for vintage cards. Shortly after, he came out and said, look, I'm done with Pokemon. I can't do it anymore. It's done. Prices started falling. Is this a ploy? Is this a tactic? I'm almost feeling like this is a a ploy to make his collection go back up so he can sell out, right? And I could be wrong on that. I may not be right. And, you know, if I'm not, that's that's great. But this is going to explode the market again, okay? So hold on to your vintage. The box break is happening on the 27th. He's starting packs out on auction at 10K a pack or $10,000 a pack starting. We could see pack prices to twenty thousand dollars at this point uh but i firmly believe that anything vintage related after this goes down again is going to see another massive spike so if you were looking to sell some vintage cards maybe you have some vintage graded cards that just came back maybe you were thinking about sending some off um if you are i would express that 
uh, because it is going to be nuts again, especially for first edition cards. But I, I believe that vintage cards in general are going to explode again after the 27th. See, I think what, what nobody thinks about with this is market repercussions, right? Because after the first time that this happened, uh, it basically destroyed the hobby. The, the hobby is essentially cancerous now. Uh, nobody can get into it. Nobody new can get into it because scalpers are out 24 seven. They don't have day jobs. They don't have night jobs. They don't have any jobs. They're just sitting in Target, Walmart, Meyer, everywhere, just waiting for product to restock so they can sell it for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 times the amount that it's actually worth. Um, and I know that it's not 100% Logan Paul that caused this spike, right? There were tons of other factors involved, but he was a major contributive factor uh, to what we saw and what we will see again. Uh, if you think it's bad now to get a hold of sealed product, just wait until after this happens. Just wait, because it's almost impossible now. I guarantee you that as soon as this happens again, he has another... 250, 300,000 people watching him. Good luck finding any product for the next year, right? But that is some good news. Distributor, my distributor has reported to me recently that within the next 12 to 18 months, uh, the printing company that prints the cards is going to be uh, opening a new facility. So there's that. Three new facilities, actually. And uh, we're going to flood the market. We're going to get rid of these scalpers. And I hope uh, I hope we actually can do it because that, uh, that is amazing. That's fantastic anyway guys that's the news for this week if you enjoyed it like it comment down below let me know what stories i missed and what you want me to cover next week subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest pokemon content and i will see you in the next one take care